finally caught myself a mushroom. Took me a while. It's really strange, I had to walk... No, Elsa, don't do it. You will not survive this. Oh, get back up. Oh my god, where did this come from? Come here. So, yeah, it took me a while to actually find the cow. Surprisingly, um, there was not many on here anymore. Something's happening to the mushrooms there. Like, their numbers were less like whimsical. I had to walk through half of the island to find this one lousy mushroom here. It's crazy, I want to take her to spawn. Come on, man. Walk. Oh, Mojang, man. The lead. Let's pull it into the water and see if it's better. Don't... Ah, yeah. Okay, water is better. You know, Mojang, the leads, they really suck. They are so useless. They break off too easily. Um, cows can't pull you with it, you know. There are so many options missed with the leads. So, guys, how have you been? You had a good weekend? Enjoyed a double feature, two episodes in a row here from the Hermitcraft where we were working on our dice. And yeah, so far, really great feedback for this dice game. Everybody seems to like it. Um, a lot of, you know, ideas of you guys, how we can make things better and about the odds. There was a lot of discussions about the odds. So that's really cool that you guys, you know, are into it so much and help me out with ideas. And one idea there was... Come up here. One idea there was uh, um, was about making the red mushroom dice or die. Actually, it's because it's one um, red, fully red. Because now you know I have because of the facade I made it white, and afterwards I thought why didn't I make it red? Because yeah, if you look at the build, it creates kind of the illusion it's two cubes. You know, the two dice. Uh, we built the building around it. It's pretty much what we did. So I think I will go ahead and replace parts of it, but first we need to transport this stupid cow. Wait, can't we put cows in boats? Ah, we could have put her in a boat. Well, now I'm already there. All right, yeah, I gotta try to bring her over to the shop. Hopefully that works out because I wanna, you know, have complimentary uh, mushroom stew there, a little mushroom stew bar. And I'm pretty sure people will enjoy that. You know, they can walk by, have a quick sip, a bit of mushroom stew. All right, so let's go. Success. No, 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 e Etho, now is really a bad time to toss Trident's at me. If you hit my, my cow, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Come here. She took some damage. Can't have too much more health. I really gotta be careful with her. Come on. Let's bring her to the, to the shop. Oh man, I need to make me a new trident. Also, I lost my good diamond sword with looting and everything. With the biggest noob move in history. Like, I was mining, I'll show you, I was mining a lot. And, yeah, then I was coming up to a lava pool, wanted to press 1 and pressed Q and had my sword in the hand. So instead of 1, I pressed Q and managed to throw my freaking sword into the void. Great job, dog. Okay, so, yeah, you know, this side um, fully replaces it with red uh, mushroom instead of the white. Oh, phantom time. I don't have no bed here. So yeah, that, uh, I think, uh, you know, just for, I uh, mean, maybe we can leave the white in here, but the outside do red. Because it kind of makes sense, right? We got the two, two cubes here. I think I should have quite a lot of, oh yeah, can't sleep. Okay, um, yeah, I got a bunch of red still here. Might be enough. Oh. Dang it, man.
man, a thunderstorm and I have no channeling trident. Yeah, I'm a god without power. Crap, man. Oh. Yep, I first need to make me a new trident. Well, let's try to catch catch sleep here while there's a thunderstorm. Too, too bad, too bad. But hey, if I don't have my... If I don't have my trident, I'm no god. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead... Oh, this screeching. Stop screeching! <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break out the white mushroom stem blocks here. And we're gonna replace them all with red. And see how that looks. I mean, we can easily switch it back, but I think it totally makes sense for the build. Right, and it's also cool if things are not super symmetrical. I said that myself uh, last episode, so we should stick with what I say, right? Uh, give me that. Okay, so yeah, let me do the replacement here and then we check out how it looks, but should be fine. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, looks just as good. Oh, uh, here's some parts I didn't get yet. Okay, need to fix that leaf. Get that back. Should have some more leaves here. Also broke one around the corner there that needs replacing. Uh, where was that? Around here. Uh, here. Works as well. Okay, and here I broke one out too. Um, I think I replaced it already. No. I think it was maybe here. Ah, we don't want to have this direct growth there, so let's just do this. Okay, but yeah, it still looks really good uh, with the red mushroom all the way around. Still really good color palette and everything. Yeah, that works. Also here on the inside I got it. And I also um, had this trim here, right? And that was immediately after I done recording. I was done recording. I thought, yeah, this needs... Um, needs to be slightly changed um, and yeah just by using uh, stairs here too but we got the stairs on top right there and it just gives it a little bit more structure and to have them in this way also works for me look wise okay let's see blank okay yeah that is that is looking good so I thought about the pricing, right, for the whole for the whole thing, um, and um, you guys are calculating the odds, so we are a bit of a favorite, of course, as we win the draws. But also, we can expect people to, you know, over the long run, if you have such a slight edge, um, yeah, we can make profit, but it, it'll take a long time. And I don't expect, you know, Ren to play here for for five hours straight or something. So I needed to. F get a bankroll first of all and secondly I'm gonna gamble for diamond blocks so in total I have let me see yeah 62 diamond blocks and this is some other stuff I mined partially uh, I also I uh, used my fortune pickaxe to get back um, XP but yeah we got a whole stack of diamond ore and I wanna definitely take that out and see how much we can get and then we can stock the gambling machine with diamond blocks. And yeah, depending on how many we get here, the yeah, the more we can put in. Um the thing is, you know, I reached out to investors, uh, to one investor already, Tinfoil Chef, because I know he's rich, you know, so um, you know, do you wanna bankroll our casino and then you get ten percent of uh, our gains but um, he was like yeah he will think about it uh, he's not sure so uh, this is like the NHO has a trust issue he's thinking it's some scam or something so yeah diamonds do have a value on here that is the result of I don't know three four five hours almost of straight up branch mining uh, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, so time is money, so now we actually have value at our hand here with these diamonds. They feel valuable to me, although they have no further use, they're just rare. Just like, you know, real diamonds, they're hard to get, therefore they're worth something. Okay, so obviously we are completely filled. How much did we get? That is not too shabby. 
two full stacks in 21. Nice. Okay, let's craft that in diamond blocks and see how many that is. And we also need to keep some, so we are we staying liquid. Uh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be 14 diamond blocks. I mean, that's something. That's a start, and here we have another few. Okay, and that leaves us with five. I think I'm going, yeah, a quarter of a stack of diamond blocks to start with is actually pretty good for our basic bankroll. So people were asking, couldn't people just <coughs> play the game, you know, right now and get a payment if they win? Yes, they could. Um, you know, the thing is, you can always build in safety mechanisms, um, but the question is, why? You know, we are relying here on an honor system and also, if somebody would snatch something here, right, and cheat, you guys would know, and would let me know. We cannot really cheat here. So, um, let's see. I'm gonna throw half of this in here. Mm, how many diamond blocks are people gonna gamble for? I cannot really tell. Um, and half of it in there, and then we're just gonna play a bit and see. Alright, yep, it sucks them in. Crap. Now we would be at a loss already. Oh, whew. thank god. Okay, okay, we're making bank. Oh, that took a while to process. Yes, bank, good. Wow. So it's like, okay, now we're on a losing streak and I like it. Um, good. Wait, let's quickly drop that here. Um, let's put this here into the system. Okay, now we're pretty much ready to gamble. We need to make the, the book. And what I also wanted to do is, you know, every good casino has some sort of convenience area for their guests. To chill out so we're gonna set something up uh, out here um, but we cannot have you know I wanted to have um, a brown mushroom as some sort of sunshade sombrero thing and if we have it up in front here it would cover all our yeah vision so yeah let me quickly see get, um, let's get my shovel and finish the pass roughly okay so yeah we got some space here we could definitely have a nice shady place here and have the mushroom chillin, mushroom cow chillin and set up a little bit of a bar or something. So let's see, let's get a brown mushroom <coughs> and let's see if we get a decent size. I need to get the pot sole from over there. Oh yeah, and also I want to get our shulker box back with all our goodies. It's going to be our dedicated mining shulker box pretty much carry around all day. Um, okay, let's toss that crap away. Good. Did I have my ender chest? Yeah, I wanna put the diamonds away. The few diamonds. We were so broke, we literally had none. Now we have five and a whole lot in the system. Maybe it's too much, I don't know, man. <laughs> but we got it stocked. Okay, um, yeah. Let's grab the pot sole. And let's grow us a mushroom over there. It's about to get night. And then we try to make it a nice area where people can get some complimentary food. It should be cool. Huh. Okay, let me... Green joint, green left. Okay, he's not here. He was requesting if somebody could lend him a um, trident. So I had, sure, man, just holler at me. Can have one. For rent. Okay, um... Put that here and let's get a nice t tall mushroom yeah that's perfect sweet and then we can doctor about here a little bit and give me that pot salt bag okay what happens if you have a light source under a mushroom like that do they have some sort of light uh, letting light through i don't think so but whatever okay so 
You probably want to hook up the cow to that and then make it a bit more cozy and stuff. Yeah, let me work on that a little bit and um, yeah, I'll be back. What the heck is going on up there? Wait, I need some rockets. <laughs> Who is this? Are they flying to the moon? What, what are they doing? Oh my god, who is that? Wait, I need some rockets. <laughs> Let's get there. Oh, I have such a hard time taking off today. What are they doing? And why are they doing it? Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. I want to poke them off. And yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> All right. Now we have a decent area here. Free mushroom stew. Mm. Oh. Wait, mushroom stew, mush mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. Mushroom. Is it even Three, two, one. Free mushroom stew. Grab a bowl from chest all right so here and then you can chill and sit and watch the beautiful build here nice nice good so we have a nice entry area now as well i think i'm fine with this here yeah looking looking pretty decent maybe we can put one more leaf on top here let's do this Woo. okay um I like this yeah, that looks better. We have a little barrel of water here, you know, for the cows. And then you would come into the actual shopping area. And then I have item frames here now indicating what you can buy. Right, the brown mushrooms here. We charge two diamonds per stack. Decent price. This is also two diamonds per stack for the red mushroom for the basic blocks. And then the stem blocks obviously gonna be expensive. Eight diamonds per stack. That is totally fine. And here um, we're gonna sell mushrooms and individual ones and we're gonna make it 16 stacks. Right, so it's not... Um, yeah, because it's also not easy to get them. You know, it takes some time. Alright, so I think the prices are totally good. Ooh, okay, the next one fell. <laughs> the flying machine they got going on, I don't know what's happening. Alright, and then um, you also prepared the backspace here a little bit better. And let me grab the chest. Why is that a single torch? Okay, hmm. and yeah, what I wanted to do here is maybe dress it up a little bit. Swim down. Some grass in here. Yep, that looks good. Maybe put one there. And here in the corner. We still see well. Yeah, we can still see well. Okay, and now I made the rule book um, for the gambling. So here it goes. NHU Mushroom Casino House Rules, right? Put a block of diamonds, best use at least five for extended gambling fun into the chest and press the button to throw the dice. Each round will subtra subtract one diamond block from your bankroll. The player wins if the white die shows a higher number than the red die. Yep. The bank wins if the red die shows a higher number than the white die. The bank wins... Um, wins if both dice show the same number. Yeah, draw. 
Okay. Wins of Jesus. You know, it sucks so much that you cannot just go back. Wins if both dice show the same number. And we call that a draw. Alright. Whoa, I'm incapable of typing this. Jesus Christ. Uh, show the, if the bank wins if both dice show the same number. Jesus Christ, man, really. Draw. Alright, please. Ah, oh, so typing. Okay, payout is 2 to 1. That means if you win, you will get two diamond blocks back. You can stop any time by taking your bankroll out of the chest. Gamble responsibly. Right? Everything good. I think we can sign this bad boy. NHO Casino Casino Rules. Yeah. That works. Boom. And we just put that there. Okay, and now, now I'm thinking maybe we need, well, you know, we're going to advertise that it's here. People want to figure out what it is, but we definitely should point, we should point people in the, in this direction, right? How are we going to, you know, signs are so boring. How are we going to do good advertisement to direct people to back here? Like, oh, what is this chest? Hmm. Maybe we should copy the book and put it on both sides. So if you walk in, you see it, you see it too, right? I think that would make sense. Yeah. See if you can copy that. We just need book and kill. Yeah, then, then we had it, have it on both sides. That's better. Okay, here we have this little post, you know, in case somebody wants to dock here with something. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now I'm at the point where I say we're almost done with this build. It just needs a few more details. And also then I need to do a bit of a grind session and stock up here a little bit. Um, hopefully people don't buy so much. <laughs> you want them to gamble. That's the real money maker here. All right. Ah. Uh -huh. Got Suzuma's tag monument, you know, the place he made for for the whole tag game. Still working construction and you cannot enter if you're not tagged. Um, you know, there's a secret ritual um, in the tower, so I can't go in. Just wanted to check it out from the outside. I mean, I've been tagged, right, right, as the second one. But yeah, this looks really cool. Good build. Good build indeed. Yep. All right. Over there, there's. I've never been here. There is the convex headquarters, pretty much. This is some way, way over dimension smelter cup fan made. Funny how this convex guy thinks they got it going on. <laughs> he made this gigantic thing. Oh my. Well, it'll smelt fast, but. You know. I almost feel challenged by them. I could make a smelter that is 10 times faster and half as big. But uh, I got other things to worry about. Stupid convex guys, for real. But you know, know your enemy. Gotta know what they were up to. So they are, you know, on industrial scale producing all kinds of smelted blocks. They got a giant tree farm going on. You know, they really want to mess with everybody's business. What do they have got going on here? This looks like some sort of mob farm design. Yeah. What is going on in here? Awesome. Could also be a kelp farm, probably. Yeah, yeah I think it's a kelp farm. Yeah, just a staggered kelp farm. All right, all right, all right. Nice, nice. Over there, though. There is their weak, p their weak spot, the Infinity Gauntlet with the Infinity Stones, and I don't know what they're thinking, having this thing unprotected out here. But I'd rather make sure this is safe because you know, maybe 
If you don't behave, your infinity stones might go missing. Dear Concorp. Right. Watch your back. I see what you're doing. Obviously, Ren's gonna be over there. So we need advertisement. We need a big casino sign here. And we wanna make it in a nice visible color. So white quartz meets um, some of the mushroom ouch blocks. Good job, dog. Uh, let's get up again. I think it's gonna look okay. We're gonna install a backdrop to it as well. Pretty sure about that. Okay, let's see. This is it's gonna be my S here. I scoped out where the middle should be. So we put that here. All right, and then next up would be an I, casino. So it's here. So that's, oops, that's one, two, three. And yeah, we need to probably replay. I oh know it, uh, it didn't break. C and then yeah it should be should be nice well I made the whole thing out of yeah the, the white blocks I mean you know mushroom blocks and white let um quartz and I'm not quite quite sure I like the shape of it the shape of it is great but I'm not quite sure if the whole white huge shebang on top there looks cool so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, recreate that and use spruce wood. Yeah, now we're talking. That looks way better. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Fish. <laughs> yeah, definitely a lot better. All right. I wanted to add one more thing here. Just to make our launch area a bit more cozy. Let's see if that works. Oops. All right. See if that looks cool. Mm, I think we just make it a, a launch chair like that, not a kind of a sunbed thing. Okay, let's remove that. Where's my my Trapdoors here. All right. Yeah, definitely gonna replace these signs with the trapdoors as well. It'll definitely look better. Whoops. Oh, come on. Place correctly. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice nice area to chill here. Wait in front of the casino if you wanna catch some fresh air, you know, get out of the tra you know, the busy gambling floor. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, we can call this uh, finished. We got our shop stacked. So here with the mushrooms, man, it's so annoying to farm them. So I made it kind of a joke sale. I don't know, but if somebody really needs a mushroom, it's organic shrooms, one diamond. Per is the bio bio brown cap and eco red rocco pan picked by me, um, so they are rare. But it could be the start of a you know a giant mushroom farm. Here we got our mushroom stem blocks, which are also really hard to farm. Um, eight diamonds, um, you know, per stack. I will work on a further automated syst system to get these because it's super hard to farm these. You only get five or so per mushroom, so. You know, this was a bunch of mushroom chopping. Here we got the red mushrooms. Here we got the brown mushroom blocks. And yeah, some small decorative bits here with flower pots and so on. Up in front, our two books. Mushroom casino, double dice, payout two to one. Good luck. Right, here's the rule book. And well, here's the diamond stash. Okay, I'm gonna do a test now. Final test for the casino. We gamble with five bits. Let's see how it goes for us. A draw. We lost. Oh. 
Hey, we want something back for. Nice. <laughs> Aww. Just wanna see if it if it feels well. Yeah, you can win. You definitely win. It's not depressing or so. Aw, close. And you won again. Lost. Yeah, it's definitely a good gamble here. You don't... You really can win if you're lucky. If you're unlucky, you lose it all. Oh, you want some back. Okay, we can do two more spins. If you lose. Okay. If you lose now, it's over. And it's over. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we got, we really got unlucky there, I have to say. Hmm. As if somebody would have doctored the odds. Who would do that? Nobody. Nah. Not the NHO, right? Okay, so... Yeah, cool. This is a nice area, definitely. Here you can get some food if you want to. Sweet. Yep. I think we call it. If you have any last minute ideas, let me know. I can, you know, hook them up in case we want to. But I think we have a really, really nice, nice shop here now. Now, hopefully people are, in oh yeah, customers, customers land here. The casino. Come on, Green. <laughs> so now let's hope people want to get some of these mushroom blocks. And let's hope um, people want to gamble a bit and have some fun here. Ah, beautiful. Okay. I'd say that's it for today. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I see you in the next episode. Bye.